Welcome to the very first episode of Tech Talk on Owl Media with me, Wilbert, where we're going to be talking about everything technology. Welcome back to Tech Talk on Our Media. And before we zoom into our first story, I'd like you to just like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button so that as soon as we make a post, you get alerted and then follow the story that we have for you. So first off, we're starting with some Apple news and we're going to be talking about the Apple Vision Pro. Now, if you don't know about the Apple Vision Pro, it's a VR headset. But you know Apple, they always want to glorify things. So the Apple VR headset, we call the Spatial Computer, is a special VR headset that was announced more like teased by Apple later last year and now it's actually set to hit stores starting February 2nd. Let's take a look at the specifications of the Apple's spatial computer. Vision Pro has these following characteristics. It has a custom micro OLED display with system featuring 23 million pixels. That's very interesting. We have three element lenses. We have a dual driver audio ports. We have eye tracking system of LEDs and infrared cameras. Now, this is to help track your eyeballs as you wear the Vision Pro glasses. We have 12 cameras and five sensors and Apple's custom Vision OS which was made specifically for the spatial computer. Like I said, it's Apple's new product and it launches with its own operating system. And we have a novel dual chip system consisting of the M2 and R1 chips. Apple is now going into their, the production of their own proprietary chips and they're using the M2 chip, which is the predecessor to the M3 chip. It's not the latest and the greatest, but it's still pretty fast. So we trust that with the M2 chip, coupled with all the other technological features of the Vision Pro, this product is surely going to be a banger. Is it worth your money? I don't know. It's not available here in Ghana now, obviously, because they just started shipping in the US, but it's definitely something worth buying. Up next, we're talking about the EU policy to make the Android Play Store available on iOS device. Now, this is something that the EU has been focusing on, trying to get you know Apple to bend its restrictions on making other developers develop for Apple. Now Apple is saying that there are some privacy you know and security issues they want to be able to control the quality well and the kind of apps that they have on their app store so Apple is known to be controlling the number of um, you know developers the Apple App Store specifically they have very strict you know uh, rules as to how to develop you know applications for the App Store but now in terms of software you would actually now be able to use android software or app android applications on your apple device now like i said this is only going to be in the eu but is this something that you would like to see happening over in accra because trust me there are so many applications that i would like to use on my apple device that are only available on the android play store now so what do you think about this how many of you remember threads it's not thread it's not thread it's threads Remember last year when Twitter was going through all its buhaha and it was near verge of collapse, a lot of people wanted or were calling for a newer platform for them to be able to, you know, tweet and talk about stuff. Because that's why we're on Twitter. It's all for the, you know, the, the interactions and the networking and all that. Right from the camp of Meta, we, we saw the emergence of threads and it, it was an immediate hit. So many people, I mean, I joined, I was like, what, the one million person to join and it just died down closer to the end of the year and we didn't really hear much about them but according to meta they have hit about 130 million you know um, subscribers now on the thread platform that is definitely way above what we thought that thread would be able to achieve the hype about it has quite died down now but it's looked very interesting um in a report from the Google Play Store, looking at downloads, it was able to make the top 10. If you ask me, I say Thread is not going to die anytime soon. And let's see what Meta has up for it. Now let's talk AI. How do you use OpenAI ChatGPT? Well, if you ask me, I use it for um, emails and letters, you know, uh, projects. Anytime I write an email to my boss, I use ChatGPT back to my boss. It's no big deal, right? It's just, it's just business. So if you ask me, right, OpenAI um, ChatGPT is very revolutionary. It has helped a lot of people in terms of research. If you're a ChatGPT user and if you're a fan of AI, if you're someone who's interested about AI, I have some very fascinating news for you. So in a report uh, by a group of researchers, right, OpenAI is now saying that there's a small chance that ChatGPT can be used 
to help create bioweapons. Bioweapons are chemical weapons that are targeted at really decapacitating or killing you know, individuals, right? Any living organism. The use of AI gives you advanced knowledge into things. Just like how if you wanted to write a letter or you wanted to develop a, a, a line of code, you know, for any project that you were working on, you could depend on AI to help give you this kind of knowledge, right? So with the help of AI, you, you are getting more like, what, a thousand brains, because the computing power behind AI is so magnificent. The possibilities that someone can use AI for good are very high, and so is using AI for bad as well. So. If you ask me, I'll say that AI is a good thing, but then we are on a very interesting path. If there's an actual chance that people can use AI to develop bioweapons. Cybersecurity is, is another problem. And we know that people are already using AI to impersonate as other people, propose themselves as other people, and cause a lot of you know misinformation in social media and in the public view. So let me know from you, what do you think about this particular sort of news about open AI's small chance? I mean, they say it's small about open AI's small chance of uh, chat GPT-4 being able to aid researchers in the development of bioweapons. Hmm. So that's all I have for you for now, but stick and stay with me. Uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification button so that you get instantly updated when we make a new post. We'll be bringing you interesting updates from the world of tech and even about the social media apps that you're using. So stick and stay with us. Until next time, peace.